Hey YouTube, it's Brad from Brad Reviews It. Are you sick and tired of the sticky notes, the messy wall calendars, or maybe even just scrambling to find your cell phone to figure out what's on tomorrow's schedule? What if I could tell you that you could have all of that information on one clean digital display without spending the three to five hundred dollars or maybe even more for some of the modern day wall mounted digital displays? So that's where this product that you're looking at in front of me comes in handy. This is called the Dackboard Digital Wall Calendar. It's an online subscription service that takes your existing computer with monitor and transforms it into a fully customizable digital wall calendar. So how do we set up the Dackboard? To set up a Dackboard, you go on the Dackboard website, which is dackboard.com. That's D-A-K-B-O-A-R-D.com. Once you go there, you're gonna have to set up an account and pick a subscription service. They do offer a free subscription or essential or plus. I personally have the essential subscription service and I can tell you that I love it and it's well worth the money. So this is my current setup with the essential subscription service. It's very minimalistic and simple, but you can make it as wild and crazy as you want. So for me, I have the date and time in the top left hand corner. I have a one month calendar below that. And with a one month calendar, all the appointments that you're seeing in blue are linked to my personal iCloud account. Every time I go into my iCloud calendar and update things is automatically updated on here. And also with the essential or plus plan, you can change the color. I currently have mine set to blue. If I wanted to add my wife on there, every time she added something, it would be pink. If I picked pink, could add somebody else, make it yellow, add somebody else, make it green. You catch my drift, keeps you organized. In the right hand corner, I do have the weather. My weather on here is actually linked through my personal weather station through Weather Underground. I own an ambient weather weather station. I would love to do a review video for you guys. If I could get one person to comment below asking for the review video, you guys can get it. And then in the middle, I have one of my favorite Bible verses, Philippians 4 6, just for a little bit of motivation and encouragement throughout the day. And in the background, we have a very basic generic being background running and i can show you guys that in a second so once you log into your dashboard account you're going to be greeted with this screen right here because i have the essential subscription i do get access to two screens you get three with plus one with free i only use the one so let's jump into the settings for the one so you have the option to change different layouts the layouts are going to be just where your date, time, calendar, weather, where everything's laid out on the screen. I kept mine left to right. That's just personally what I like the best. As far as the background goes, I had an amazingly cute idea of making my daughter my background through Apple Photos. However, Apple Photos wanted you to download iCloud and then make a personal album and then copy the link, but you had to have the iCloud that was on your PC. I wasn't willing to jump through that many hoops. That's not Dakboard's fault. That's Apple's fault. There's also Flickr, Dropbox, they have a whole plethora of nature and landscape photos, OneDrive, Bing, which is what I have currently, or you can just do a photo URL. You can also do videos through Vimeo, Vimeo, my apologies, or YouTube, or just the website URL. One thing to note with Bing, if you come down here, you can do today's photo only, or you can do the photos from the past week. And then when we jump into calendars, you have the option of doing Outlook Calendar, Google Calendar, iCal Calendar. Because I have the Essential Package, I can actually change the colors like we were talking about earlier. And you also have the ability of doing as little as one week all the way up to three months for your calendar. And there's so many other customizations with event locations and end times and stuff like that. Date and time, we can change 24 hour, 12 hour clock, AM, PM indicator. Change the format of the date a little bit if we want a little bit different look. Weather. Weather Underground only works for personal stations. As far as I know, the other two are just kind of enter your zip code and they will populate. This is my Weather Underground station that I have set up and you, again, have more customization below. News. They use news through RSS, which I didn't know what that was until I started looking on here. Basically, if you click RSS help, it'll give you some news contenders that you can copy and paste if there's somebody that you don't see on here you can always probably just google what their rss link is if you want their news instead of some of those others we can also do to-do lists through todoist google task or microsoft to do 
And then lastly, you can add a custom message, which is how I did my Bible verse in the middle. So next, let's talk about some of the pros and some of the cons. For me, some of my pros for this is the fact that I didn't have to drop two to three hundred, maybe even five hundred dollars on a tablet, basically, that had some preloaded software in it. I just had to use my current existing computer with the internet and my monitor, and it's already in my living room, so it's already in a centralized location. Nextly, another pro I have for this is the amount of customization you can do. A lot of the more expensive display wall mount things that you see on the internet that are calendars lock you in to certain software specifications where you can't fully customize it the way that you can customize the DAC board. And that's just one thing I like about it. Lastly, the biggest pro that I have is their customer support is unmatched. I reached out to multiple smart display companies to do review videos and a lot of them didn't respond. The ones that did respond made me fill out a form that asked me what platforms I'm on and how many subscribers I had. Once they heard I had 34 subscribers, I think it was at the time, they said, unfortunately, we can't help you or they just ignored me. Dackboard didn't do that. Dackboard actually took the time to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. It was very personable. I was talking with someone named Catherine and I could tell that she was a real person and she was a genuine person and this company was genuine. Dakbor agreed to give me a few months of subscription for free. In turn, I would do a review video for them and I got to try it out. But they actually went above and beyond and they actually watched my other video about the gun safe. And they gave me some feedback on that. Things I could do good, things I didn't do so well. And for that, I greatly appreciate them. Two cons I have with the Dakbor, however. And they're not cons with the Dakbor per se. They're more personal cons. One of my cons is sometimes I forget to open the screen and that's not Dakboard's fault. Maybe I'm editing content for another video or I'm watching a YouTube video or I have something to do with work or maybe I'm even gaming and I just click X on my game and I completely forget to just open Dakboard and that's not a fault of theirs. Secondly, another con I have is some of the digital displays you get now are touchscreen. Dakboard's obviously not touchscreen because I don't have a touchscreen monitor. If I had a touchscreen monitor, I don't know what the capabilities would be for the Dakboard with touchscreen because I don't have a touchscreen monitor. So that's more of a con on me not paying for a touchscreen monitor. Secondly, let's go ahead and talk about prices for the Dakboard. If you pay monthly for the Dakboard subscription services, you're going to pay $6 a month for Essential, $10 or plus. If you pay yearly, you're going to pay $5 a month and $8 for plus. Um, with the essential you do get two screens with plus you do get three screens if you need additional screens you can come down here and actually pay just a little bit more to get more screens and here is a chart that Dakboard has on their website that allows you to compare and contrast the plans together I'll leave this kind of up for a second and let you guys look at some of the benefits of each one so next, I also want to touch on some of the other products that Dakboard offers. They don't just offer a web-based subscription. They actually offer two other products that are pretty neat. First, they do offer the standard wall display, like your smart wall calendars. They offer a 22-inch touchscreen for $600 and a 27-inch touchscreen, or 27-inch, I don't believe it's a touchscreen, my apologies, for $550. And they do look fully customizable, just like their their website. And then there's also some some third party um, things they have on their website as well. And nextly, this one's probably the most unique thing I've ever seen is Dakboard does offer their own CPUs. They range from eighty dollars to one hundred and eighty dollars. And essentially, what this is is you plug it into your computer, you upload what you want your smart digital display to look like. And then you pull that off of your computer and you plug that into your TV. I could see this being super beneficial for someone who doesn't have a whole lot of space for computers. So they want to run multiple screens, but they don't want to have a PC hooked up to every single one. Or maybe you're running 10 screens and you don't want to have 10 PCs because that gets quite expensive. So these are just some other products that Dakboard offers. So for me, 
the DAC board has replaced our old paper calendar and made it so much easier to keep track of everything in one place. It is so perfect for the person who doesn't want to spend a ton of money and they don't want to add more clutter to their house. I personally will continue to use DAC board as my go-to calendar. Thank you for watching. If you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more reviews, and let me know in the comments, do you think you'd use this digital wall calendar at your house? Feel free to comment. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to review, or if you just have questions about this project. I'm more than happy to answer them. Thanks. Y'all have a blessed day.